In this demonstration, we will use Design Data Manager's powerful new single save functionality to create an up-issued copy of a conveyor assembly, at the same time increasing the width of the conveyor assembly. To begin, we load the top-level assembly drawing from DDM into Pro Engineer. Two additional menu items are added to the PDM Integrator drop-down menu, Single Save and Single Save Family Table. Let's open the assembly to modify the conveyor width. With the conveyor assembly open, we edit the width of the stretcher link and increase it by 100mm. Next, we need to increase the length of the conveyor roller. This is a family table instance, and a new instance needs adding to the family table to meet this new requirement. We edit the family table generic to add the new instance. When adding a new instance to a DDM family table object, remember to clear the DDM unique identifier, EL underscore UID, before storing back to DDM. We are now ready to update the family table in DDM. Select Single Save Family Table from the PDM Integrator menu. Items that have changed are highlighted in red in the Single Store window. Note that each instance shows the generic as a child of the instance. As we already have the generic reserved, we will overwrite it, and a new record will be created for the additional instance. We need to give this new instance a description and a DDM part number. Once completed, click on OK to store the changes. The save summary is now displayed in the built-in Pro Engineer web browser. We now return to the assembly to replace the short roller with the new one just created. The assembly is now complete, so we can return to the top level assembly drawing. Once again from the PDM Integrator menu, we select Single Save. Note, there is an option in the Single Store window to display any associated component or sub-assembly drawings. To do this we select Include Drawings. The stretcher has been extended. In this instance we want to store it back to DDM with a new part number. Note, there is a stretcher drawing that is not in session. We select this as well and set the action to New. We give the component and the drawing a new part number. Next, we turn our attention to the assembly. In this example, we are going to up-issue the top-level assembly and drawing. Note that the issue has incremented to issue 2. We now want to add a change reason. Right click on the selected items and select change reason. Populate the change reason dialog with the required change details. We can now store the changes back to DDM. Note that the drawing has been up-issued and change information added to the revision history table on the drawing. By looking at the DDM properties of the drawing, we can confirm that the new stretcher part has been used in the conveyor assembly. By refreshing the search, we can see that a new drawing has been created for the new stretcher component, C-10048B. A PDF preview has also been created. The single save function gives great scope for improved control and productivity. 
This demonstration gives a glimpse of the new functionality that is available. For more details, contact CSI or your local sales representative.